everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be doing a review on the wet and wild blooming collection if you do want to see a review and a demo then please keep watching as a huge favor if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below I greatly appreciate it I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back I went to two different five below stores to pick up all seven pieces in this collection I couldn't find any information online about this collection it's not available on wet n wild's website it's not even available on five below's website I first saw this collection on trend moods Instagram I instantly wanted it wet n wild did state that it was going to five below stores first and then it would end up at Walmart and CVS they did also mention that this is their Valentine's collection which is interesting because these are all cherry blossoms so it looks like more of a spring collection than a Valentine's Valentine's collection. The first Five Below store I went to, they had some of the products, but they didn't have the eyeshadow palette. So I went to a second Five Below store and they had it at the very bottom. Again, I'll throw a picture up so I can show you guys, but they had all the products in stock. I did also notice that the first store I went to, they had the SpongeBob collection. I did also purchase the SpongeBob collection while well, the PR collection. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments down below. I also picked up this new Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. I just finished cleansing my skin. I don't have any foundation on. I'm gonna be using the makeup sponge in this collection. This is called the Blooming Makeup Sponge. I love the cherry blossom packaging. There's nothing on the sides of the packaging. And then on the back of the packaging, there's a little description. It says this holy grail blending sponge flawlessly applies makeup for a professional looking finish. Provides a streak free effortless application designed with a unique hydrophilic material to ensure less product waste. Can be used wet or dry. It's cruelty free and this sponge was made in China. I purchased the makeup sponge for $4. Here's how much everything was. Here's what the second receipt looks like. And here I picked up the eyeshadow. Let's go ahead and open this up. The makeup sponge does have some flowers imprinted. And then here's what the back looks like. I'm gonna wet the sponge really quickly and I'll be right back. The makeup sponge did expand a bit. For foundation, I'm gonna apply the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Toffee Pecan. This is the dewy version. Using the makeup sponge, blending this. Here's how the foundation blended out. The makeup sponge did a great job on blending out the foundation. I'm not getting any streakiness. The sponge does feel very soft. I'm gonna apply some more foundation. Again, taking the makeup sponge and blending this. Again, the sponge did a great job blending out the foundation. For $4, I definitely think this makeup sponge is worth it. I'm gonna apply a little bit more foundation where my hyperpigmentation is. I'm gonna let that sit for a bit. I'm gonna apply a little bit of brow product on my eyebrows. This is from e.l.f. This is their Wow Brow. While the foundation is still drying, let's move on to the next product. This is a lip mask. On the front of the packaging, it says blooming. On the bottom, it says lip mask. This shade is called Sugar Pink Blossom. I like that the jar is clear so you can see what the shade looks like. You get six grams of product or 0.22 ounces, and this was made in Mexico. I love that the lip mask comes with a safety seal. Here's what the inside of the lip mask looks like. It doesn't feel like anything. It just feels like a normal lip balm. Here's what it looks like on my ring finger. Let's swatch it. It's a clear lip mask. I was hoping for it to be that pink color. The lip balm retails for $4 as well. Let's apply some. The lip mask doesn't feel moisturizing. It feels a little bit waxy on the lips. It does have a fruity scent to it. It smells really good. For $4, I would pass on the lip mask. It doesn't feel hydrating on my lips. I feel like the foundation has been sitting on my skin for a bit, so let's blend this. The makeup sponge did remove the additional foundation I applied, but that's totally fine. I'm gonna set everything with the Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. This retails for $3, and I was able to find this on Ulta's website. Wow, this powder has five stars. It says, achieve radiant, polished looks with the help of Wet n Wild's Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. Thoughtfully formulated with a nourishing blend of vitamins and revitalizing extracts. This finishing powder is great for all skin types and helps keep makeup looking fresh. Here's what the packaging looks like. I I purchased mine in the shade medium tan. 
Here's what the back looks like. Here's what the shade in medium tan looks like. Let's swatch this. Here's what it looks like. This seems to be a little bit too light for my skin tone, but we'll see what it looks like. Using a powder brush, I'm gonna dip into the setting powder. There is a little bit of kick up, well, a lot of kick up. I'm gonna set one side of my face. I think it did a great job in mattifying. This is the dewy side, and here we have the matte side. I like this finishing powder. I'm gonna do the other side. I like the finishing powder for $3. I definitely think it's worth the price. There is a little bit of kick up, but that's totally fine. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Essence I Love Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I applied one coat of the mascara. Now let's watch the lip glosses. They retail for $4 a piece. Here's what the packaging looks like. It says wet and wild. When you turn it over, you have the cherry blossoms. And then it says blooming. Oh, this is a lip plumping gloss. I had no idea. I thought these were just regular glosses. Ugh. I'm not sure about the lip plumping. We'll definitely try it. This shade is called Bloom Time. Right underneath it, you have the ingredients. On the bottom of the tube, you get 3.5 milliliters or 0.12 ounces. See what the shade in Bloom Time looks like. It comes with a double-sided applicator. Here we have the shade in Bloom Time. Very sparkly. There's too much shimmer for my liking. I'm gonna press my lips together. I'm glad I can't feel the shimmer specks on my lips, and there is a slight tingling sensation. I feel like I can get through this. The next gloss shade is called Baby Bloomer. It's this pinkier shade. Again, the packaging is so pretty. I just love the cherry blossoms. Let's open this up. Again, same double-sided applicator. Here's what the shade in Baby Bloomer looks like. I built up the shade in Baby Bloomer so you can see what it looks like. You don't need to build up the gloss. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I don't like how this shade looks on me, but it is really pretty in the tube. Again, I can feel a slight tingling sensation, but it's not overpowering. My skin is not liking these lip glosses. It created a burn on the back of my hand. My skin is so sensitive, it can't handle anything like this. My lips are turning a little bit red. These lip plumping glosses are not for me. This is gonna be a pass. Next up, we have the blush. This retails for $4. On the front of the packaging, it says blooming with a little cherry blossoms. I wish the sticker was a little bit centered, but that's fine and then here's what the back looks like the blush shade is called flower power and again this was made in mexico here's what the blush shade looks like let's swatch this here's what the blush shade in flower power looks like i blended out the blush shade so you can see what it looks like let's see what this looks like applied on the cheeks the blush has a little bit of a glow to it it's pretty but i wish it was a little bit more pigmented let's apply some to this side if you like a glowy blush, you might like this. I prefer more of a matte blush. Taking my fluffy brush, I'm just gonna go over the blush a little bit. It kind of worked. The blush is a no for me. The last product is the eyeshadow palette. This is a four pan palette and this retails for $5. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says blooming again with the beautiful cherry blossom. On the bottom, it does say pigment palette. Here's what the back looks like. On the bottom, it states this is called a garden party palette and this was made in Mexico. Here's what the four pan palette looks like. Let's start with the first shade. Very soft in the pan. Oh, that's very sheer, very light. It's a little bit powdery too. I'm gonna see if we can build it up. You can't even see the eyeshadow, it disappeared. Hopefully the next shade would be better, let's see. Wow, these are very light. They're so sheer. Let's see what the shades on the bottom look like. This is very scratchy in the pan. And we'll do the last one too. And this one is very chunky. Okay, so this one has some pigment, perfect. 
Let's see what this one looks like. And this one is very chunky glitter. Here's what all four shades in the eyeshadow quad looks like. Again, I don't like the two sheer ones. This one's the only one that I liked out of the four. This one is way too chunky glittery. Let's see if the eyeshadows show up on the eyes. Taking a clean fluffy brush, we're gonna dip into the first shade in the palette. Apply this in the crease, going back and forth. You can barely see that shadow. Using that same brush, I'm gonna dip into the second shade, going back and forth right underneath that first shadow. The second shade, you can see a little bit more than the first shadow. Taking a flat brush, I'm gonna dip into this shade, pack this. Nothing came off on the brush. I'm gonna be using my finger. I have a little bit on my finger. There's nothing on my eyelid. I wanna see if the shade performs with my brush wet. Going back into this shadow. getting a little bit of pigmentation. These shades aren't performing well on the eyes. I'm gonna be taking the last shade on my fingertip, even though this is a chunky glitter. I don't like formulas that have this chunky glitter. It just gets everywhere on my face by the end of the day. But let's see, I'll apply a little bit in the center of the lid. My eyeshadow looks a little bit better. I just don't like how the shadows performed. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. I applied a second coat of the Essence I Love Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Here's what the eyeshadow looks like. For lips, I'm gonna apply the lip balm in the shade Celestial Blossom. This is a hydrating lip balm, sheer, and there's no shimmer. Here's one last look on how everything looks like. For $5, I don't think this eyeshadow quad is worth it. The first shade barely showed up on the back of my arm or on my eyelids. Same thing with the second shade, it didn't show up either. The third shade was promising when I did swatch it on the back of my hand, but when I tried to apply it using my finger and a brush, it barely showed up on my eyelid. The only shade that showed up was this chunky glitter shadow, which I wasn't a huge fan of. This four pan palette is a pass. One last thing I forgot to try out was the setting spray. Here's a closer look on what the setting spray looks like. This is called Miss Cherry Blossom. It does have some glitter particles on the bottom. This might be a dewy setting mist. You get 58 milliliters or 1.96 fluid ounces. And again, the shade name is printed right above the barcode. This is called Miss Cherry Blossom. Up at the top, it does state that this was made in Mexico. On the bottom, you can see the glitters just sitting. Let's shake this up. Let's see how it sprays. Uh, let's try it once more. Okay, much better. Again, there's that fruity scent. It smells really good. The setting spray is nice, but it did leave my skin very dewy. Again, I don't like that look. I look very greasy. If you like that dewy, glowy looking skin, then this spray is definitely for you. The only product I loved in this collection was the makeup sponge. I like how soft the sponge is. I like how it blended out my foundation. I think I might purchase a backup. I also really did like this matte finishing powder. I didn't like the lip mask formula. It wasn't moisturizing enough. The lip plumping glosses are nice, but again, it did burn my skin. The eyeshadow quad is a pass. It's not pigmented enough for me. The blush and the setting mist, I didn't like how glowy it made my skin look. Let me know in the comments down below which product was your favorite and if you have seen this in stores. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.